Hi kids. So recently Nutty posted this. Uh, how the F am I? Wait, wait, wait. If somehow you don't know who Nutty is, may the gods have mercy on your soul. How the F am I supposed to get anyone excited about a program that looks like this? Thumbnails already stress me TF out. And this is not helping. It's a really kick-ass program, I promise. Talking about uh, StreamerBot, right? Our beloved StreamerBot. And this is really what StreamerBot looks like, unfortunately. Of course, once you get the hang of it, it's not really a problem. Everything is really clear. It's just intimidating to get into. So I took this image, I copied it, slapped it into Photoshop, inverted the colors, corrected the hue. People thought I actually did something. So people were like, wait, how? How did you do that? And I was like, oh, this was meant as a joke. So I thought, why not? actually try to design something. So what you're about to watch is a time lapse of me doing exactly that, designing a new UI for StreamerBot with some commentary. I think it's important to state that I am not a UI designer. I've done it before, but it is far from my expertise. This was just an exercise meant for entertainment purposes. That being said, if the people at StreamerBot see my design and want to get inspired, or if and if they need anything from me, hit me up. I'm completely down. StreamerBot is an amazing piece of software. I am forever grateful to Nutty for making it popular, so I would be more than happy to help. Anyways, there it is. And here we go. First thing I had to do is take screenshots of the StreamerBot page, basically that I wanted to replicate to give an idea. Here I'm creating some buttons that I'm basically not gonna use at the end. Uh, this is usually like the core of the UI when I'm designing things like that, but I ended up just using them for like minimize, maximize, and close. Okay, so the next step was to create a sp specific icon for each tab. Having, you know, that many words on screen is uh, creating a lot of visual clutter. And I think that I could do a good job creating Creating like self-explanatory um, icons that I could put for each tab, and let's say that if you if you hover over them, it would tell you what it is, right? It would display a word so that it um, it would be very very well explanatory. Uh, the other goal here was to shift the menu. Uh, split the menu basically in two so i would have some on the left and some on the right so on the left would be our major things the things that we use the most uh things like uh, the actions list the the action queue the platforms you know things for twitch channel point and all that and then on the right would be the rest like integration and um, streaming apps and things like that on top here i created uh, the three icons save import export and uh, there is a menu in streamer bot but i'm thinking hey the logo creates some sort of branding and if people click on it they will have more of the options that you would get uh, in streamerbot when you click on the hamburger menu so um one thing that i said that i should have said is that the right menu is something that i believe could be collapsible basically it's not something that could that has to be full screen or or has to be on screen all the time so uh, now i'm creating a scenario where we have one of those tabs that's going to be open so right now we are on the action the main tab so from the left menu and that's the actions list so i took a screenshot of my own streamer bot so what you're going to see is basically a real list of my current actions in streamer bot right and i thought about like the groups maybe you can select labels aka um colors for each groups to display or maybe they would be assimilated um assigned uh, automatically right so we have the the purple here i'm going to change the list to white i'm also going to change the the icons here for example enabled uh, the options that you have is yes or no right now it's like words yes no so i i i change that to check marks or x's to let you know quickly basically is this thing enabled yes or no uh, same thing for the rest uh for the options it's uh some acronyms and when it's basically none, I just put a bunch of X's. For the selection, you see I went with the teal or cyan here, but I'm, I'm guessing it would probably be Windows default uh, color. And uh, here's the actual action list. We have three actions in the specific actions. Again, those are based on real actions that I have. And then uh, this is the right menu that I was talking about. So I picked one of the tabs and I just replicated that tab. But yeah, the idea here is like you would click on one of the one of the tabs here and that little uh, window would pop out, but it would be collapsible. So once you're done, you know, um, let's say that your OBS is not connecting for some reason and you want to check it real quick. Boom, you click on it. It expands. Uh, you make sure that it's connected and then you click on it again and it collapses giving you full screen for your actions list and everything else right the platforms tab has a bunch of tabs so you want that to be full screen i also thought of the idea of being able to upload maybe your custom background and then basically the menus the frames would blur it out to make um, the options still visible and uh yeah this is what i came up with and uh this is 
kind of the final product if there's no background this would be the clean version and then there's going to be the color version if we really want to if we really want to display the branding of streamer bot and then this would be like custom picture uploaded or maybe just like a generic menu but imagine if you could upload your own picture you could possibly import like your favorite superhero or your favorite anime uh in a second i'll show my favorite superhero which is uh nutty wearing a scarf of uh, printed subscriber names um absolutely my favorite marvel superhero